Huh? What are you doing in my swamp? Hello everybody, this is Ogre Boy, and I'm going to be doing my review for the 1943 movie Frankenstein Meets the Wolfman. This movie is directed by Roy William Neal and stars Lon Chaney Jr. as the Wolfman and Bela Lugosi as Frankenstein's monster. And in this movie, uh, Larry Tabba is brought back to life and uh, is wanting to find a way to go back to his death to escape his werewolf curse. Uh, and he, he gets with the Gypsy Maliva and uh, she uh, takes him to uh, to confer with Dr. Frankenstein the and everything and when they f get there they find out he's been long dead but his equipment is in working condition so he uh, uh, tries to get the help of Dr. Mannering and uh Frankenstein's descendant Baroness Elsa Frankenstein uh, to try to suck his uh, have his life sucked from his body and transferred into Frankenstein's monster's body so that he can be free of his werewolf curse and of course things go wrong and uh, the Wolfman is having to face off against Frankenstein's monster at the end of the movie uh, this is one that I've wanted to see my entire life. I had heard about this movie when I was a kid, and I loved the first Wolfman movie and the first couple Frankenstein movies. I watched them a lot as a kid, so I was really wanting to see this one, and for some reason I never was able to find it or get around to seeing it. Uh, and everyone told me that I needed to go in with low expectations because it's going to disappoint me and everything, so I kept my expectations low when I finally did get to see it, and I still ended up being... Highly disappointing. This is one of the most unsatisfying movies I have ever seen, out of like ones that I've been wanting to see for a very long time. Uh, the stuff with Larry Tabbitt and and the Wolfman is pretty good. Um, it's an okay sequel to the that that first Wolfman movie, although I don't like the way they just bring him back to life and stuff and kind of ruin the ending of that movie. But I think Lon Chaney Jr. is still really good in the role in this movie. Not as good as he was in The Wolfman, but I think he's still pretty good. Um, but I don't like a lot of the stuff they did with Frankenstein's monster and stuff. And the, You have the whole village wanting to, to just destroy Frankenstein's monster and what's left of his castle and his equipment. And everything, which we've seen that in other movies. And uh, Frankenstein's monster this time is being played by Bela Lugosi just I don't really like the way he moves he, he does that slow walking where he has his arms out like this and his eyes are closed and stuff he looks like it it looks like a, a stereotypical zombie type movement and I just I don't really like the way he portrayed Frankenstein now I know that that's one of the ways he's most known to be portrayed and stuff in other movies so I'm not looking forward to as much of the other Frankenstein stuff we see later in the future. And I, I didn't really like Bela Lugosi as Frankenstein. Uh, I wish they could have gotten Boris Karloff back um, because to me he he was the the ideal person to play Frankenstein's monster, especially in a crossover like this where they they get. Lon Chaney Jr. back to play him. And I would have even been cool with it if they had him play both characters. Like, he played Frankenstein's monster in one of the previous movies, and it was okay in that one, too. So it, I think it would have been cool to even see him play both, but I know that would have been really hard, especially at the time this movie was made. So I can understand why they didn't do it that way, but uh, I just I think Bela Lugosi just was not really a good fit for the character. Um, and everything. I don't really like a lot of what they did with Frankenstein because he's like one of my fa Frankenstein's monster is like one of my favorite out of the Universal monster characters. So uh, that was kind of disappointing. But I also love the Wolfman. So if I had to choose which side I was on in this movie, I would have been more on the Wolfman side. 
um, which kind of kind of shocked me because, like I said, I've always been more of a Frankenstein person, but uh, the way the movie was written, for, uh, the Wolfman was just done better. Now I think the cast in here were all fine for their roles and everything, especially like I said, Lon Chaney Jr. was really great and everything. The only one I didn't really like was Bela Lugosi, and I like him in all the other ones that I've seen. I liked him as Igor in the other Frankenstein movies. He was really great as that character, and I love him as Dracula. So I, I just don't think he fit the Frankenstein monster part in this one. Um, but the the uh, rest of the like the supporting cast are all all pretty good. I enjoyed them in here, and uh, it had some fun moments and stuff. That ending, though, when you see the Wolfman and the monster fighting each other and stuff was pretty cool, but it, it only lasts for, like, maybe two minutes and everything before the the flood starts just destroying the castle and they get taken down with it. Uh, I didn't like that about it. Like, the the it was just kind of kind of anticlimactic it, it didn't really get a good you didn't get a winner at all uh in the fight and the fight was kind of sloppy uh, i kind of wish they would have done better with that uh, and this is something that uh, i know universal has talked about bringing back the monster franchise and redoing them for modern audience uh, i kind of think it would be kind of cool to see how they would do it nowadays if they could get good writers and stuff to do it like uh, they did the great job with the Invisible Man remake from a couple years ago. Maybe if they were to take their time and do other monster movies and everything and build it up and everything, maybe we could get a good remake of this one that would have a better story and maybe maybe not kill the Wolfman off at the end of his remake. Cause I, I know they're working on one with Ryan Gosling, which I'm curious to see how they do it and everything. But th this movie just could have been... It could have been so much better. Um, the the sets and uh, makeup effects and stuff that y you expect from these movies and stuff are still really great. There's nothing really to complain on that. Uh, they still hold up pretty well. Like the visuals and stuff hold up pretty well for like movies that came out back then and everything. So that that's not really something that I'm complaining about. It's just the story itself could have been better. And uh, I do wish we would have had more action between the the Wolfman and Frankenstein's monster. Uh, it just it, it could have turned out a lot better than it did, and everything. And I was very disappointed with this movie. And I I went in with low expectations and still came out disappointed with it. Um, I know a lot of people have said that this is where the Mon Universal monster movie started to lose their their popularity and kind of started going downhill so I'm not as excited for these other ones that they call the monster rally movies and everything I, I hope that those will some of the other ones that came out after this will be better I know there was like a house of Frankenstein and house of Dracula that were had crossovers with these other characters I'm hoping I'll like those more but all in all this is just an alright movie uh, I don't think it's terrible there are way worse movies out there and everything but it it is a big disappointment and everything and as far as like big crossovers between two big iconic characters and stuff this is definitely one of my one of the most disappointing for me um so but like i said i i can handle watching it it's only an hour and 13 minutes so it's not very long and most of the, these movies i feel like it works having this short of run time because they don't overstay their welcome but this movie i feel like i could have worked better if they would have made it at least 10 20 minutes longer um but so i'd say i'd give frankenstein meets the wolfman a five out of ten uh i thought it was okay but it could have been so much better um and everything yeah, like i said it, it's just not one of my favorites so uh let me know in the comments what you think of this movie and i hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day everybody